Alright guys, Todd will be back again today, have you enjoyed your day so far, and today we're going to talk about Capture the Flag versus Control. These last few days, a number of the pros have been talking about Control as a game mode and saying, okay, is this really the best we can do in this title? Capture the Flag isn't in the game right now, especially with a map like Raid potentially coming into play with some new maps when Season 1 does launch, even though Season 1 might actually be delayed by a few days, so that's not exactly ideal, especially for some of these Challenger Cups, if that is indeed the case. But look, at the end of the day, Control is in the game right now, played great in my opinion in Black Ops 4, but that was a 5v5 title played very different to how Call of Duty Black Ops Card War does. Therefore, would CTF be a better mode in this game? A number of players thinking that is the move, and I'm certainly intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below on this one. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new as always, I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Thank you very much for doing that. This then from Brack takes two hours to cap points in control and a miracle to win offenses. Bring back CTF. So there's certainly two arguments to be said here. Okay, control is very difficult for offenses right now. Um, I think Clayster was saying how okay it is possible to win your offenses you just have to think about the game in a slightly different way to what you would typically do but yeah there's certainly arguments to say okay maybe you change how many kills are available maybe you change up something to do with um spawn locations or whether you allow smokes or you know just some maybe tweak to the game mode which might make it playable and um, at least means that you can actually win your offenses on this map because it's very difficult to do right now I think that's probably a consequence frankly of um four versus four that um you know if in a 5v5 situation maybe it was easier to just flood a hill as an offense and get the job done this time around when it's not, um, I mean even Black Ops 4 was technically boots on the ground with the grapple, with all the other stuff, it was almost a jetpack game to some degree, you could probably fly at people, this game you do have to be a lot more um, you know, slow and steady and that does make things more difficult to actually cap points in control, but this is what Brack has to say similar idea as well from Defrag, look Cold War Control is the most laughable game mode since Blitz way back in Ghost if you guys remember that one, not exactly a, um, well a fan favourite for a lot of people, Spoof says as well look we played a tourney, we got Miami Session Destroy and Moscow Control, lost all three offenses on this one so uh, yeah that's a very common opinion really that okay offenses are pretty awful on control what are you meant to do? We need a new game mode in the game. And of course, Capture the Flag is always an interesting discussion. It's interesting it's not in this game more generally, but also it does require a very specific type of map to work. CTF is not going to work on a map that isn't really a traditional three-lane type map. You need um, you know, you need the ability to hold off, you know, block one lane, hold off another lane, run the flag down one lane, and um, yeah, have the overextension on one side. The maps really have to work well and be designed great, like they were back in Black Ops 2, for example, for Capture the Flag to be a good game mode, in my opinion at least. And maybe it is the same thing for control as well but right now CTF isn't in the um, isn't in the arena I think a lot of pros saying okay maybe we do need CTF at least to try it out and uh, well as uh, Credit CD Lintel says as well Blast was sniping in control so it gets to the point where um, okay sniping is even a viable option in control where it's never really been a viable option before I mean sometimes in hardpoint in the past players have pulled out sniper rifles but yeah in control you haven't really seen it but yeah it seems to be uh, certainly something which can be done given the way that control is being played right now so yeah certainly some interesting thoughts on this TJ Halley certainly comes out and says look CTF in this game it would be godlike capture the flag is better than control CTF would be elite says methods so um, yeah pretty interesting I mean control was a good mode in my opinion in Black Ops 4 it worked very well maybe Treyarch just managed to hit the jackpot again with how well it works kind of similar to Black Ops 2 Harpoon in that sense but in this game now it's a 4 versus 4 situation clearly the league is very confident that it's going to work because as soon as control was announced I mean it was announced kind of um, as a competitive mode not like officially and hasn't been officially confirmed that it's going to be that setup but I mean I'm pretty sure these tournaments that are being played and stuff is just being played with control so basically it has been officially confirmed but so yeah, these are the game modes that we're playing right now. The league seems to be confident that it was going to work in a 4 versus 4 setting with these maps that they are right now. But I think a lot of people would say it's, um, it's not quite as good as it was in, uh, well, in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, for example. So the question is, if CTF would be allowed into the game, if they do allow that as a game mode over the next couple of weeks, let's say it comes in with Season 1, it's not going to, but let's say it did, would that be better? I mean, how hard is CTF really to put in? I guess you have to code the spawns and stuff so it gets pretty dodgy. But um, yeah, at the same time, if you put Capture the Flag in the game, and it just appeared right there. Would it be something the pros try out? Would it be something that they would actually have good success with? And what changes to control really need to make to get to the point where this is actually a viable game mode for competitive? However, Clayster has a different opinion, seeing a lot of control hate here on the timeline and the subreddit. Honestly, there's a couple of Narnia spawns which will hopefully be cleaned up, and with 45 second capture time, offense becomes much easier. Gotta figure out how to win offense, not just say it's chalked, defense wins, there are methods. Pretty interesting point actually from Clayster, the fact that it's actually a mindset thing 
thing a lot of the time. A lot of people think, okay, like, it's just chalk. Defense wins every single time on control. Therefore, we're not going to try our hardest and try new strats to try and win offenses in new ways. Maybe make slight tweaks to the game mode to make it work. I'm still pretty confident it can work. What I really like about control is it's a very uh, user-friendly mode in the sense that if you're a new viewer coming into Call of Duty for the first time, watching control is very easy to understand. We capture both points in a certain amount of time. We get all the kills in a certain amount of time. If not, defense wins. Pretty straightforward and um, it's a nice change of pace, I think, from Search and Destroy going from, okay, hard point, super fast, pays very quick game mode to Search and Destroy very slow, methodical, then into control, which is pretty fast paced, but this kind of um, has its ebbs and flows in that sense and can get very intense at the ends. So I think it's like, honestly the perfect mix to some degree of hard point and Search and Destroy from a competitive perspective, at least uh, from a viewer perspective. And um, yeah, well, if the game mode plays well enough, I think it's probably something we should go with. Capture the flag at times, if the map doesn't play too well, can be a bit of a disaster. I mean, we saw in Black Ops 3, especially Stronghold capture the flag. Marky V would just sit at the back rock for 10 minutes, go 9 kills, 0 deaths, and say, yeah, just hold off the flag for the entire game while the team did some other things. That's maybe not the best Call of Duty to watch. And as Hitch is saying right here, look, there's no alternative. I'm a CTF stamp, but I'm trying to think of how Garrison CTF might work. And so, yeah, certainly I think you do need maps that work very well for competitive play to actually make this work for capture the flag. I think CTF is very much a map-dependent game mode, and it's quite difficult to tell how that map would even work. And a number of the maps really like, okay, Moscow, maybe it works as a traditional 3 laner. Crossroads strike might be too small to make it work and might be a, a camp fest at the right at the back of the spawn. Who really knows? It's quite difficult to say. I think it would be difficult to bring in CTF and it would work immediately. And as Clay says, look, CTF will always be CTF. Control, I feel, as a competitive game mode from the core up except for the overtime rules. And um, yeah, Sim says, look, the subreddit hates control with a passion. That's it. Domination is back. And certainly that's not what we want in my opinion. I mean, domination in uh, modern warfare, honestly just like not the game mode we want to see in competitive. I would certainly take a control which maybe isn't the best and maybe need some tweaks over domination. I definitely think it's a more competitive game mode to watch and um, also for fans to enjoy, in my opinion, but certainly I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Eggs also has some thoughts on the streaks in this game. Maybe streaks will actually help so much if they fix the streaks and allow them to work in like a traditional Call of Duty streaks manner where if you, okay, if you do get this amount of points, then you actually do get your school streaks rather than um, kind of just like being completely arbitrary when you actually get them throughout the game and uh, while scrapping the current system they have. That might actually help to some degree with offenses on control, for example. Some of the points being outside, you can maybe, um, on offense, you can get some streaks. If you build them up on defense and stuff, that might make the game more um, more interesting and engaging to play and allow offenses to break hills more easily in that sense. And just to finish off the video with this parasite thing that you guys might have seen. So Onyx says, look, some people are so weird. And so, yeah, a couple of days ago, so Machilla kind of explains the story. Sibilance picked Onyx over Parasite in 8, and Parasite just straight up banned him from the server and said he is playing because it's his team speak. What a freak. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, just a little bit of drama here on the time. I didn't want to go into too much depth on it, but uh, yeah, Parasite comes back, gets like hella ratio by this guy, like, uh, you know, kind of saying this. And uh, Machilla comes out and says, Parasite is literally top five in being, you know, an awful person in our community. Dude will never change. He forced Onyx out of eight because it's my team speak, therefore I am playing when he didn't get picked. And so, yeah, maybe not the best look. I mean, as this guy says, like, why do people not want a team with me? Certainly, um, certainly a question that you might ask given the matter. And uh, well, Sink comes out with this. Why does no one like me? Sad for Phase. And Gunless Burner came out with this meme as well. It's my team spring bro. I am playing. People still think you're toxic. Yeah, but you've changed. Yeah, certainly I've changed. But you could show you're being changed by being nice. That makes sense to me. Then stop doing shady stuff. No, because I'm a haggy man. But yeah, yeah. Thought this was just pretty entertaining. Finishing off the video with this clip here from Study. What did he say? Yeah, pretty entertaining call out that he gave at the back of the map. Back Pelican. Whatever the hell Back Pelican is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. No, you enjoyed this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as as well, and I'll grow the competitive Call of Duty community. Intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Which game mode is better? Should Capture the Flag come back? Is Control good enough with some tweaks? Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Like, hopscotching in the back, like, black, bad pelican. What? Ah, uh, he's over there. You said back pelican? Did you just call us something saying back pelican? Did you bro, just say back pelican? Yeah, but yo, this guy was just... Yo, call out is that? Black Pelican! What the f is a Pelican? <laughs> That's an animal, I'm pretty sure! I'm gonna fuck if we put Block it out. No, no, no. Right? Eski's dead. Eski's mic. Eski's mic. Eski's mic. Eski's mic. I have lobby pushed. Stay alive, stay alive. One more Eski's. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Eski's again. I'm base switch, base switch, double chop. Eski's heady, dead. Watch my lobby. I'm going straight. I'm laying down. Team chat. Team chat, team chat, team chat, team chat.
<laughs> team shot this, team shot this, team shot this shit. Team shot this shit. <laughs> Alright, go back. Strafe, 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 strafe. You ready? Right. Strafing, I'm strafing. Team shot. I have a sub, I have a sub though. You're good. Doesn't matter. I'm about to chow, ready? Lay down, lay down. I'm flanking lobby, I'm flanking their lobby. I'm watching. Watching guys, please. I'm flanking this guy. Weak, weak, weak. The hospital. One's tree, one's tree.